Hello, this is Heather Hoffman and I have a fun abstract um, kind of quick Copic coloring technique to share with you today. I'm using the June 2020 Kit of the Month from Unity Stamp Company. I love that just fun, sketchy, uh, fruity image that's in the kit. So I wanted to kind of use it to kind of spread over my card base. So I'm using my Misty to line it up and I always forget to take that foam piece out when I'm using my red rubber. You don't need that extra layer in there. And I'm using some Copic friendly black ink. And thanks to my Misty, I can stamp a couple times to make sure my impression is nice and deep and dark and black. And then I'm gonna clean that stamp off. And then I kinda had to think about this again to get it reversed and laid the way it was on there because I wanted to rotate it. Um, I wouldn't say 90, I just kinda picked a random rotation so that the image didn't look like the exact same one in each place that I stamped it. So every time I turned it, I just rotated it again and then flipped it around so it had a little bit of a different look in each spot around that card. And I'm stamping it three times and kind of staggering where I put it, offsetting it over the edge. It's just gonna add a little more to the, um, the whimsical and also um, the little bit more random look to it. All right, now I picked just a rainbow of bright colored Copic markers, single colors, no blending, and I'm purposely messy coloring on this. And it was kind of hard for me to do this and purposely make sure that I went out of the lines, that I didn't do it perfect, that I just kind of smacked the color on there. I don't know how else to describe it. It's kind of just um, a little bit of a different feel to it, but I thought it kind of had an abstract, um, a fun effect in the end. So. I'm making sure really purposely to kind of overlap, um, make sure I go out of the lines intentionally. Um, and it's kind of just a fun, really quick, um, quick way to do that. So once I finished putting all the color on there, I started looking at it and I felt like it just needed a little bit more. So I came in with all those exact same Copic markers, just used the pointed tip to add some little dots of color. I did them in groups of one, two, or three, and just kind of spread them out around those images. Um, trying to keep it random and spread the color out. And then one last thing, I came in with my uh, colorless blender, my Copic colorless blender, and just went around to soften those edges a little bit of where I'd colored out of the lines. It just kind of helped smooth out those rough edges so it wasn't quite as harsh a line coming out of the edge there. All right, now I'm gonna add my sentiment from the same kit. And one of my favorite things to do is heat emboss in white on black cardstock. And especially with all this bright pop of color on these images, I just thought that contrast of the black and white would be um, just perfect to go with that image. So I'm stamping it on there. I used my powder tool to make sure none of my embossing powder stuck where I didn't want it to. Stamped with clear embossing ink, sprinkled white embossing powder on, and then heat set it. And I always do it on a larger piece of black cardstock so I can trim it down with my paper trimmer to the right width. And as you can see, it's already the width of an A2 card, but I decided I wanted that front panel to go um, just a little bit smaller on an A2 card front. So I just trimmed a little tiny bit uh, equally off of all the sides, but I'm gonna leave that black the same width that it is. So I can adhere this onto my card paste and you can see there's a tiny white border around the edges. And then I can add that sentiment with foam adhesive. It'll pop it off the back and it'll extend over uh, that white border just a little bit too and kind of give it a finished and cohesive feel. All right, thanks so much for coming by today. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.